See, I never slow down. One day after we finish one thing, we go right into the next one. <laughs> we hope. Um, so this is Tarzan, page seven, I think. Um, Jungle of Demons, let's see. And you can see it's in a pretty rough state. There's, I mean, by, by rough, I mean it's literally just pencil roughs. The figures. So, let's see, who's in front? Let's just start with this figure over here. He's still got his mask on, this guy right here. Am I in the right layer? Yes. Masks are like these skull masks that they're wearing. This guy's getting his knocked off. But they're pretty simple masks. And they're also obvious masks. Like when you see them, there's... There should be no question that that's not an actual skeleton. <laughs> In this case, I think I'm going to have to draw Tarzan's hand. You can imagine how I imagine if it's this hand coming around this way. Here's the question Is it the back of the hand? I think it is. And that's his knife hand. So in this version of Tarzan, it's a little bit more violent. He's got the, uh, well, I say it's more violent. Tarzan was always violent. He called his knife the iron, iron tooth. Because he didn't have a, uh, it's his left hand, left, right, yeah. I can't remember who, which enemy he was fighting. I think it was the, uh, the main gorilla leader had challenged him, and he was only able to win by using his iron tooth, his dagger. And I may have stretched beyond my anatomical limits here. Let's see. A whole lot of underdrawing here, and usually that's to keep it kind of fresh. But let's see what we can come up with. This guy, the other figure is both arm. I got to figure out where both his arms are. One's here, and then one's here. When you're drawing for the imagination, like a lot of times, that's your only real option if you're going to draw action because you can't always get the action scenes that you need from certainly not from photo reference you might be able to get them from other comics which basically you're you know cribbing off of somebody else figuring out the problem of whatever you're trying to do Maybe it's this arm. This arm is the stabbing arm, right? So maybe he's...
twisting. It's like a really complicated twist here. All right. Let's pretend this is a reference layer, you know. If we need to, we just take this layer, you know, dull it down <laughs> and draw over the top of it once we figured out all our problems. All right. That may be where we're going. Let's find out. Gotta be fearless in this world of trying to draw beyond your limits here. If I do the left arm, see, I could switch the dagger too. I mean, he could easily switch hands on the dagger. What if I switched it so that this hand held the knife? That looks pretty good. And then this hand, maybe a can put it back here which means basically removing this arm I think that's okay that actually seems like it might even be better so let's go with that oops This is where those burn Hogarth. Um, rules really come into play. Burn Hogarth, by the way, he was also a Tarzan artist, but he wrote books on anatomy and where he would do these extreme contortions of the body. So you would see it in all its angles. I think it's better than having him reach in front of his neck, and but I could put it behind him. I can't remember if these guys are wearing gloves. If I look down here, you know what? I don't know if they are. They have these sort of mid forearm cut. Let me look at one of the previous pages. They are wearing gloves. They are wearing gloves. Gloves, gloves, gloves. Yeah, he's definitely, that's part of the uniform. Okay. Now his head's looking a little bit big for his body, but we'll we'll see about that. So our viewpoint is like slightly below. They have these ear pieces on, right? Yeah, I believe that's part of their their outfit. Um, I'm going off of this hand because he's if he's that his thumb should be on the outside. It's on the outside. All right, we're in the right place. You won't believe how often I draw these things and I go, oh, I put his thumb on the wrong side of his hand. <laughs> I 
Well, it's more often than that's an embarrassing mistake. Let's see where we can go with that. Okay. It kind of saved us a little bit of problem from having to figure out what happens with the other hand. This soldier is not going to be that buff. He's regretting his life choices right now, though. All right, let's see. Also, am I making him too big? At the end of it, I might end up taking the whole thing and just shrinking him down because he's going to be bigger than Tarzan. He's going to be way bigger than this guy because this guy's head's going to be about that big. All right, let's look at their outfits here. He's got a belt. He's got some suspenders. They wear these arm patches that are back here. And to tell you the truth, I'm not sure I have the head in the right place. Now that I look at it, it could be that the real disposition of the head, and thus the blade, would be right over here. Let's try it there. Apologize for you having to see all this behind the scenes stuff. The other thing we want to do is to make it look more three dimensional. We need some what are called cross contours. So the outside lines, I think oh, those are the silhouette contours. But cross contours will show us kind of the form or um, and how the like the uniform is is wrapping around his body. Some of it I've already kind of built into these wrinkles or the way the suspender is. But we can probably do a seam in his uh, jacket. You can always hide something in a seam or in clothing. There's usually a place. All right, that seems to be okay. Seam, get it? And then, um, <laughs> what else is missing? They've got kind of cargo pockets and the pants are kind of loose, so it's not like they're tight pants. 
So. Something like that. Mm, come on now. I think one of my problems is now that I've started to correct his form, the action's gone out of him. I had him kind of arched back further before. Like it looked a little bit more ex extreme. There is a seam. Where would the seam be in a pair of BDU pants like this? I think there would be some pockets around this area. This is how you should be using reference, like. All right, let's look at some BDU pants and figure out like where the seam is and all that stuff. And then I've got these like, look at these kind of crazy messed up lines I've got now. I'm trying to just like erase around them, but I think it's probably gonna have to be retraced. I don't know. We'll see. Let's take a look, take the pencil out of it. Okay, there we go. These are thigh areas. Not correct. On the bloused. jacket thing. Yeah, correct. mask makes it harder to show any kind of reaction because we can't show the facial expression. So we're going to have to carry this out in the facial position. Okay. And even though the skeleton doesn't have a nose, the guy wearing the mask does have a nose. You can see I'm going to be cleaning this up for a while. All right, let's leave it for there for right now. Let's see if we can get Tarzan. Is his head too big? It's about the right size, almost. I 
I started uh, doing a uh, 100 heads challenge. Draw 100 heads challenge. And it's 10 heads a day for 10 days. So there's a time factor. It doesn't just draw all the heads you can, which is how I would do it, you know, because I've, although, you know, these, these contests like this, they don't, there are no real rules to them or anything like that. Nobody's checking up. This one's from like four years ago. I don't think this hair is too wild and free here. Well, let's figure out how to bunch the hair up. That was a good cut right there. I think I may have gone a little too hardcore with this chest line. I mean, Tarzan's one of the original comic book muscle man, but he's never meant to be super muscular. He's supposed to have kind of a kind of a more of a tighter physique. The strong men of the era would have been like the big circus strong man types, you know, the big linebacker looking dudes. Not necessarily the bodybuilder looking guy. Let's take a look. It's a start. His head looks a bit warped. At some point, you just gotta let it go. Okay. What about his feet? That actually feels about right, actually. I think those toes are too small. Okay, let's take the pencil out for a second. Um, yeah, it kind of works for me. We're gonna have to fake in the cavern background. You know. And, you know, if we don't get so frustrated, we have to just redraw the entire thing. And we're probably okay, I hope. One cloth is black in this version of Tarzan. I always have to say in this version of Tarzan. So Tarzan is a, um, he's in the public domain, <laughs> but the trademark to Tarzan is still held by the 
Edgar Rice Burroughs estate. That means I officially can't use the, the name Tarzan on the cover, etc. But copyright wise, the, the copyright's gone. It's I, you know, it's this not an officially endorsed Tarzan thing. This is just a a fun a comic for fun. So when I call this guy Tarzan, I'm saying this is my version of Tarzan. And, you know, it's it's been going on for a while, like Kazar, you know, from Marvel. Came out in like 1939 or something. <laughs> it was pretty early. That's, Kazar is Tarzan too, right? I mean, he's a version of Tarzan. Okay, this foot is good. It's just it's slightly not big enough. So I want to. That's big enough, but I've already. You know, once you enlarge something, you kind of do something weird to the pixel. So you end up you end up redrawing it anyways. But at least you know where it's supposed to be. There's also Korak, son of Tarzan. All right. This is good, except for some reason I used a really thick outline on the ankle. Okay, let's fix that. a little bit more in the legs department. He didn't skip leg day. Who is it? Just kidding, there's somebody working on the porch. All right. I've done something bad here with this leg. Okay, let's see if we can fix it. <laughs> All right. Oh, it just gets worse and worse. I think that works. How about these toes? Your feet are just funny. I mean, I don't know. I've mentioned this before, like when we're looking at um, the Beast from the original X-Men. The funny thing about Beast from the original X-Men is how funny he is for running around with his shoes off because he had these prehensile toes. Hank McCoy. This is before he was the blue furred version. All right, how do we fix this part of the head?
All right. Kinetic action is happening. Now, if we do this figure completely separate, we can kind of, you know, move him around if we have to. But this guy is lose. He doesn't get a mask. His mask is knocked off. His chin has just been socked, right? So he's got... So he'll have to be made a little bit bigger to match the size of the other figures, but I think it's going to work. So like an action line. Something like that. Well, I don't know. Probably put like a... Like a little soccer rooney explosion right there. All right. <laughs> so we've got we've got our work cut out for us. Um, please like, follow, and subscribe, and you'll see more comics every day. I'm going to be working on Tarzan until Tarzan's done. Um, maybe in just a couple of pages, we hope. And. Um, and the un you won't see this one get posted to Instagram until it's colored in by Jake of Jake's Art Corner, Jacob Moore, the great Jake. Check out his YouTube channel. Um, and then I'll either work on Cinetar. I've got, had an idea about maybe doing another Frankenstein or maybe doing uh, Isolt. It'll be Isolt and, and uh, Gallows. And with with a brief with a guest appearance by Rabbit Fighter, um, we'll see. All right, talk to you later.